All right, today my project is to change some manual transmission fluid on my 2002 Ford Focus that I recently just bought. It has 102,000 miles and it's due for changing. I'm changing this regardless since I just bought the vehicle. The tools you are going to need is going to be an oil catch pan, 8 millimeter Allen wrench, some cleaner, and three quarts of motocross full synthetic manual transmission fluid. Transmission calls for 2.1, so you will have to purchase an extra one to make it correct. I brought the manual transmission fluid at my local Ford dealership for $25 a quart. I checked online, and that was about the average price that I was seeing everywhere, so to save time and effort, I just bought it at the local dealership. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is jack up your vehicle up in the front. You want to try to get the driver's side up a little bit higher than the passenger side to help with the drainage of the oil. Technically you don't need to jack it up, but in order to have enough room to work and be comfortable, I highly recommend it. Alright, so here's the front of the transmission. So again, this is a 5-speed manual transmission. First thing you want to do is check the fill plug. If you can't get the fill plug loose, then there's no point in continuing on because you will only leave yourself stranded in your driveway. The fill plug and the drain plug are both going to be an 8 millimeter hex bit. I've got one attached to a flexible head ratchet, which seems to make things a whole lot easier when you're getting into tight spaces. So now that that's loose, We'll move on to the back to make sure that everything else can come loose. Okay, here's the location of the drain plug. It's just off to the left of the oil pan in the middle of the transmission. It's in a little bit of a dark area, so I'm having to use a flashlight so that you can see it. It's also an 8 millimeter. Just so you have an understanding of where the relation of the drain plug is and the fill plug, just in case you don't understand where it's at. Uh, the drain plug is right here. The fill plug, if you follow my flashlight, is right on the front, right around there. So it's it's really easy. You just have to have your vehicle jacked up decently high enough to just get easy access to it. Okay, so for the drain plug, you weren't able to use the actual ratchet, so I have to use a little right angled uh, 8 millimeter. Stick it up inside there. fits pretty good once you get it right. If you can't get it with just this, you're going to have to add on a wrench to add some extra leverage. Uh, this is 11 sixteenths. really doesn't matter as long as it's something big enough to give you enough leverage to actually break it loose. So mine actually popped loose pretty easy. Now it's just a matter of loosening it up, dropping it in the pan. So it's a good idea to keep the fill plug in until after you get the drain plug already pulled out. That way it won't shoot out like you just saw until you are ready and you got everything set up. Makes it a little bit easier when you're filling it out towards you. When you go to put the drain plug back in once it's completed draining, make sure you have a little bit of patience. I had some difficulty actually getting it to go back in. It took me about, uh, I'd say about three minutes to get it to go back in there. So just have some patience. Once the drain plug is back in, it's always a good practice to clean it off with some brake cleaner. Brake cleaner makes it so that if you have any leaks in the future, you already know that last time you were under there it was clean and it helps you to pinpoint the area a lot better. Here's a little contraption that I made up to make filling the transmission a whole lot easier. I basically just cut off a, a used bottle of Lucas, uh, used the end on it, and I went to Home Depot and I got half inch outside diameter hose which will fit inside. You can go a little bit bigger if you need to but half inch should work fine and it pushed right on to the cap of the Lucas oil. So in essence I just made a little funnel with a long neck on it. Right, you can see I got the Lucas bottle set up here right by the coolant lines. 
the hose runs down through and you can see the transmission fill so you'll be able to fill the transmission while you're actually looking at it to make sure that there's no leaks or overflows that way you know when you're full or not Alright, so like I said before, this transmission calls for 2.1 quarts of transmission fluid. And yes, I know it's horrible, but you do have to open up that third $25 a quart, quart of transmission fluid in order to top this thing off. Because I have it jacked up, obviously my fluid levels aren't going to be correct. What I ended up putting in was right around a little bit less than a quarter of a quart. What I'm planning on doing is once I drop the vehicle, I'm going to open up the fill plug and let the extra fluid drain out. Alright, for our last step after we drop the vehicle down, what we need to do is open up the fill plug and let the extra fluid that we put in there drain out. So once it's loose, you just let it drain out until it tends to slow down, then close it off. Okay, so once I put the vehicle on the ground and I the drain plug, I realized that no fluid came out, so I actually needed to add more in. So this is what it should look like once you have it completely full. As you can see, there's little drips coming out. It's not from me filling. It's actually from the transmission being to the fill level. It's about the level you want, then you just want to cap it off. Thanks for watching my video. I hope this was more informational than some of the other videos that are on YouTube right now. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming projects on this vehicle.